I'd say we're well over halfway through this build with both front and rear assemblies pretty much complete. We'll stick with the front end though with bag eye, where we'll prepare the steering assembly. Ok so we'll crack straight on with the steering assembly, bag I. Everything we need is included within this bag including the aluminum Ackerman plate. And what's interesting about this plate is that we have three positions for mounting the steering assembly, although if you switch the plate over we have another two, so five positions in total for greater customizability. Anyway let's get this together. Start with the first bell crank here and insert a bearing into the top and bottom of the arm before inserting a bushing and then securing the metal plate to the bell crank with a 10mm button head screw, although remember to add a little thread lock here too. Also notice how the plate is facing backwards here which you'll need to copy if keeping a stock setup. We now need to build the other side of the bell crank with what's called a servo saver, so start with these two parts here, placing them together and insert the longer piece from the top straight through. Next we can insert a spring from the bottom and this will be secured with the collared nut, although before doing this we need to insert the included rubber o-ring into the groove within the nut. You'll find installing the nut much easier if you use a 17mm wheel wrench in order to tighten the nut all the way down so that the spring is fully compressed. With full compression, loosen off the nut two full turns to achieve the optimal position. With servo saver built, again we can add a bearing to the top and bottom of the arm, along with a bushing into the bottom, after which we can secure to the metal plate with a second 10mm button head screw, complete with some thread lock thrown into the mix. And that's our main steering assembly constructed. Now we need to build our steering links, again starting with some grease on the turnbuckle threads, and screwing into the rod ends just like we did with the turnbuckles earlier in the build. These ones need a 25.5mm gap between rod ends, again use a caliper or the guide within the manual to be as accurate as possible. With both built we can insert the pivot balls into each rod end, and going back to our steering assembly we need to attach the steering links. Start with a 20mm cap head screw, drop on the first link, then drop on four of the included washers before feeding through the front hole of the Ackerman plate and tightening into a lock nut. Repeat the same on the opposite side, so link with the notch to the left, four washers, through the plate and the lock nut to hold it all together. Finally insert a bearing into the top and bottom of each post. And that brings us to the end of our steering assembly build and bag eye is now complete. Again make sure everything is nice and free. Now bearing in mind you will be left with this single piece after completing the bag. This can be used as a fixed piece instead of the servo saver, so if you wanted to run without the servo saver spring you can replace the entire right side of the bell crank with this. Although honestly I would not advise it. The spring will cushion your steering servo from sudden knocks and bumps and it'll last much longer than without. Anyway the next step is to get this attached to our front end assembly and we'll do that in our next bag. <laughs> <laughs>